Hey, this is Gerard Stevens, CEO of GS1 Television Productions. Welcome to another great edition of the Hour of Power. For the next hour, we get a chance to hear part two of some great messages from pastors we got a chance to visit recently. Don't go anywhere. Make sure you call somebody and let them know that their pastor might be featured today. It's the Hour of Power, and we've got it coming up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hey, this is Pastor Eugene Mitchell from the First Pilgrims Baptist Church. You're watching the Hour of Power. Hi, I'm Linda Lewis, Director of Armstrong Family Services. I'm here to remind you that anyone can become homeless, even you. Armstrong Family Services is a nonprofit organization that serves families in crisis. We focus on keeping homeless families together. Post Katrina, we have helped over a thousand families. Now we need your help. For more information, please call 504-899-2995. Thank you! George's Produce, located at 129 Terry Parkway in Terrytown, is today's fresh produce location. Walk right in and shop for the freshest fruits and vegetables, canned goods, and a whole lot more. Shopping and delivery is available. Call today at 504-363-0023. That's 504-363-0023. Or stop by 129 Terry Parkway and walk right in. And let Mr. George and Chanel know that you heard it right here. You would think I'm standing in a third world country right now. Algiers, I'm actually standing in your community. The community that you grew up in. The community that you love. The community that your children go to school in. And in fact, we're standing right across the street from the Orleans Parish School Board. It's time the city obey the law that was handed down to them by the state court and the appeals court. Sign the petition now at cleanuphigginsgate.com. I'm Ramona Bodie. Welcome to Mona's Accents Florist and Gift Boutique. Mona's Accents Florist and Gift Boutique at 2109 North Claiborne Avenue is your one-stop full-service florist. Beautiful flower arrangements that last from exotics, plants, weddings, bereavement and birthdays, an assortment of gifts for all occasions. Call to order at 504-944-7001. Look for us online at monasaccents.com. Mona's Accents and Boutique, your full-service florist for all occasions. Hey, this is Gerard Stevens of the New Orleans Talk Network. People have been asking, where are you? Well, we're right here and we're definitely talking first thing in the morning. Make sure that you join in on the conversation and also comment at 504-341-8255. It's a new concept that you can take with you on your mobile device. Download our free app at Google Play for Android and the App Store for iPhones and iPads. Take us wherever you go and make sure you download that app to your mobile device. It's the New Orleans Talk Network, the wave of the future, and we're talking. All right, welcome back to the Hour of Power. Gerard Stevens here as we get into the messages that you are waiting to see and waiting to hear. Now, if your pastor, if your church wants to be featured, make sure that you give us a call. The number is 504-475-4471. That's 504-475-4471. If no one is there immediately, make sure you leave us a message. We will call you back. We are always looking for pastors that have great messages that need to be featured so that the public can see who they are. Without further ado, let's go over to the North Shore now and visit with our Bishop, Bishop Robert Taylor from the Greater North Shore Full Gospel Baptist Church. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And when there is that new nature that's been created on the inside that comes with our relationship with Jesus Christ, there's going to be a struggle that's going on on the inside. I know that the old folk used to say the places I used to go, I don't go there anymore. The things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. The things I used to say, I don't say them in some of those places. Yeah. Some of those things you do and you don't do it anymore, it's because you can't. I wish I had a few witnesses in here. And even if you don't, if the temptation is there. But I believe that God has a way of taking us into another place, into a realm where not even the temptation is victorious in our lives anymore. Is there anybody here? But listen, listen, Dr. James Drake tells the story of a farmer that, that, that owned two pit bulls. One of the pit bulls was black and the other one was white. Now this farmer had trained these two pit bulls to fight 
on command. Yes. And every Saturday night, the farmer would bring his dogs into town, and as the crowd gathered, he would take bets on which dog would win the fight. Uh -huh. Sometimes the black dog would win. Uh -huh. At other times, the white dog would win. But the farmer would always win. Uh -huh. Well, eventually, one of the townspeople came to the farmer, and he said, now, wait a minute now. I, I noticed that sometimes the black dog wins, sometimes the white dog wins, but it seems as though you always know which dog is going to win the fight. Uh -huh. How is it that you always know? Well, the farmer says without hesitation, he said, he said, well, it's really easy. These are my dogs. Uh -huh. And during the course of the week, I'll feed one. I mean, everything he can eat. I mean, nutritious meals, all the Alpo. He can handle all the Imes that he can handle. But the other dog, uh -huh. I starve. Uh -huh. Little bread, little water. So when we show up on Saturday night, uh -huh. the dog that I've fed the most, <laughs> That's the one that I know is going to win the fight. Y'all still here? And so it is with us, my brothers and my sisters, the fight, the battle that rages on the inside of each of us. Will the winner be the old sinful nature or will the winner be the new man that is created in holiness? Well, the answer, come on here, is determined by the one we starve the most and the one that we feed the most. I heard somebody say a few years ago, garbage in garbage out but when we decide hey I'm going to do all that I do all that I say all that I think is that I'm determined that God is going to get the glory that I am going to spend some time in the Lord I'm going to spend some time building upon my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ if you're going to go into that other place that the choir told us about this morning you, you got to change some habits you, you got to change some things in your life you cannot do the same old, same old and expect to get a different result. Jesus, Jesus was, 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 that's what Jesus was talking about when, he, when, when the enemy came to him to tempt him out in the wilderness. Jesus responded, he says, he says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of of God. Listen, you want to be victorious in your walk with the Lord? Feed your spirit man and starve the old man of the flesh. I need to see that again. I don't want to forget. I said, if you want to be victorious, come on here, in your walk with God, you got to feed the spirit man and then starve, come on here, the old man of the flesh. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against the Israelites anybody here with a made up mind serving the Lord so we're going to pay off after a while listen God wants to use you to be an example for others it's time out I know as a young person you got places to go things to see things to do and, and all those types of things but at some point in time in your life yes, yes. brother's going to talk to you for just a moment <laughs> Well, she wants me. I know. I know. I know. Every time I look, every time she look at me, she's. I know she wants me. I, I, I know. Listen, after God, eventually, all you are is a dirty old man. Why don't you just build upon your relationship? Sometimes folk are just saying good morning, and all that they mean is good morning. Everybody that says hi to you don't want to go lay up with you. I wish I had a few witnesses in here. Listen, 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 listen. When the question comes, will there ever come a time in our lives whereby we will not even be tempted by the snares of temptation? Amen. Amen. A little later on, Paul goes on to testify. He says, he says, he says, now understand, I have not yet arrived. But he says in Philippians 3, he says, not as though I had already attained, neither were already perfect, but I, I follow after, if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Jesus. He says, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. 
forgetting those things which are behind me and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Paul says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. In other words, Paul makes it clear, no, I have not yet arrived. Even though I've written all of these books in the New Testament, I have not yet arrived. And the truth being told, none of us in this house today, none of us have arrived. Is there anybody here? But I believe there ought to be at least a handful of folk in this house that have made it up in your mind. The things I used to do, the things that used the devil used to trap me with, the things the devil used to have victory in my life, in those areas, because I'm growing in my walk with God. I'm growing in my relationship with God. There should come a point in time in my life when we're able to testify. No, I haven't arrived, but things are getting better. Is there anybody here able to look back over your life and testify? No, I'm not there yet, but things are getting better. Why don't you high five somebody around you and tell them things are getting better. I'm making progress. I'm moving forward in my walk with God. I'm moving forward in my relationship with God. Hallelujah. Yes, there are times when I mess up. Yes, there are times when I fall down, but I made it up in my mind. When I fall down, when I mess up, I'm not going to stay there. I'm not going to get comfortable. I refuse to become at ease in the devil's camp. Is there anybody here with the made of mind? I'm walking up the king's highway. Yes, trials are going to come. Yes, temptation is going to come. But, hallelujah, whenever the trial comes, whenever temptation comes, whenever you fall, get up, dust yourself off, and start all over. Start all over again. I said, get up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. Hallelujah. Yes. In this life and in these bodies of clay, temptation is going to come. Every now and then, we're going to fall down. But when you fall, hallelujah, get up. Look at your neighbor and tell him, get up. Get up. Get up. And start all over again. That's what Paul was talking about in Romans chapter 8, verse number 1. He says, there is, therefore, now, no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, to those that walk, not after the flesh, but after the spirit, any real folk in the house. Have there been times in your life when you had to get up, dust yourself off? Oh, y'all gonna act like that, come on. Y'all gonna act like that over here? I'll come sit right next to you. Is there anybody here able to testify? Every now and then, I fall down, but when I fall, I get back up. Anybody able to testify? There are times in my life since I've been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. There are times when I fall down, but I made it up in my mind. Get back up. Start all over. Hallelujah. Won't God do it? Won't He pick you up? Turn you around. Place your feet. Solid 
ground Say yeah Yeah, yeah Say yes Say yeah Yeah, yeah Some way, somehow, because God has marked your life. Hallelujah. You will bring him glory. They can bring us, you can bring him glory the easy way. Or the hard way. But God's gonna get some glory out of your life. I wish I had a few witnesses in here. Listen, 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 listen. You can get back up again. 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 For a saint is just a sinner who fell down. And got up. Come on, let me say this thing right here. Yes, yes. You can get back up again. 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 Get back up in this house today. What an inspiring message, and of course, a man filled with God's Word. Make sure that you go visit them on Sunday morning. It's 9.30. It is Bishop Robert Taylor and the great folks at the Greater North Shore Full Gospel Baptist Church. Don't go anywhere. We're coming right back. We've got Shatik Nobles, Pastor Shatik Nobles. We've got Pastor D.R. Barry Hill. We've got a whole lot of word for you, and we're going to make sure that you get it. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more. Hey, this is Gerard Stevens of the New Orleans Talk Network. People have been asking, where are you? Well, we're right here and we're definitely talking first thing in the morning. Make sure that you join in on the conversation and also comment at 504-341-8255. It's a new concept that you can take with you on your mobile device. Download our free app at Google Play for Android and the App Store for iPhones and iPads. Take us wherever you go and make sure you download that app to your mobile device. It's the New Orleans Talk Network, the wave of the future, and we're talking. I'm Ramona Bodie, 
Welcome to Mona's Accents Florists and Gift Boutique. Mona's Accents Florists and Gift Boutique at 2109 North Claiborne Avenue is your one-stop full-service florist. Beautiful flower arrangements that last from exotics, plants, weddings, bereavement and birthdays, an assortment of gifts for all occasions. Call to order at 504-944-7001. Look for us online at monasaccents.com. Mona's Accents and Boutique, your full-service florist for all occasions. You would think I'm standing in a third world country right now. Algiers, I'm actually standing in your community. The community that you grew up in. The community that you love. The community that your children go to school in. And in fact, we're standing right across the street from the Orleans Parish School Board. It's time the city obey the law that was handed down to them by the state court and the appeals court. Sign the petition now at cleanuphigginsgate.com. George's Produce, located at 129 Terry Parkway in Terrytown, is today's fresh produce location. Walk right in and shop for the freshest fruits and vegetables, canned goods, and a whole lot more. Shopping and delivery is available. Call today at 504-363-0023. That's 504-363-0023. Or stop by 129 Terry Parkway and walk right in. And let Mr. George and Chanel know that you heard it right here. Hi, I'm Linda Lewis, Director of Armstrong Family Services. I'm here to remind you that anyone can become homeless, even you. Armstrong Family Services is a nonprofit organization that serves families in crisis. We focus on keeping homeless families together. Post-Katrina, we have helped over a thousand families. Now, we need your help. For more information, please call 504-899-2995. We are back with more of the Hour of Power. Don't forget to give us a ring. Let us know that you're watching. Let us know that, hey, you might want to check out this pastor because we'd like to see him on the air too. The Hour of Power features those pastors that are normally not on the air. The number to call, 504-475-4471. That's 504-475-4471. All right, let's now, let's go to Central City and see our good friend right off of Olive Street. It's Pastor D.R. Barry Hill. When you try to figure it out and try to do things on your own, instead of you making it better, you only make it worse. That's it. When if you just learn how to wait on him, he may not come when you want him. But I think I got about five people up in here that can testify that he's always on time. On time. On time. Yeah. Saw him in a different way. He 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 worshipped him. He he waited on him. News come, says Jarius, your daughter is dead. No need to trouble the master anymore. Jesus heard this, said, don't listen to them fools. Only believe. See, you got to, you got to be careful who you listen to. You got to be careful whose account you accept. See, a lot of y'all didn't accept the bad account when Jesus had wrote something good for you. Oh, y'all ain't gonna talk to me. They said that the little girl was dead. Don't trouble the master anymore. Imagine if Jarius would have just took what they said and not did anything else, his daughter would have been dead. But, 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 but you can't listen at when folks speak dead stuff over your life. Because God has said that you're going to live a life that's more abundantly. He, he said, I have not seen, nor ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of man when God has in store for you. I wish I had about three people touch yourself. He got it in store for me. Tell him for me. I ain't listening to nobody tell me what I can't do. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Come on, let me go home here. Let me go home. He, 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 he said, let's go to your house. He takes 
his crew with him. He takes his crew with him. He takes his crew with him. See, everybody is not qualified to travel with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, Pastor William, you can't understand. I can't understand sometimes why some preachers can't deal with us. It's because they're not qualified to walk where God is about to take us. Yeah, I ain't bragging. I'm just facting, y'all. They're not qualified. Yeah, to go with me. Everybody is not qualified to go with you because there's some folk, yeah, who got weak faith. Lord, yeah. So they can't see what God is trying to do. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I'm about to go to my seat, y'all. They, they, they had 12 disciples. They had 12 disciples. 12 disciples. 12 disciples. Jesus only took three. Twelve disciples, Jesus only took three. Twelve. He only takes three. Why didn't he take Thomas? You know why he didn't take Thomas? Because when they got to the house, Thomas would have been down. Why did he take Judas? Why didn't he take Judas? Because what he was about to do, Judas would have tried to sell it. Yo, wait a minute. Yo, wait a minute. So he took some people yeah, yeah. Yeah, who was going to act on his command. Yes, sir. He took some people that was going to be able to walk with him. He took some people that was not going to decrease his power, but was going to increase his power. He took some people that were not going to put him down, but was willing to push him up. Now y'all got folk who just putting you down, but you need to get some folk in your life that's going to push you Everybody else away because everybody was not ready to deal with what was about to happen. The Bible says that Jesus showed up at the house and 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 when he shows up, things got to happen. house and when he showed up yeah he grabbed the little girl by the hand and when he when he grabbed the little girl by the hand yeah Yeah, by putting an air condition in the midst 
God got power. I know he got power. I know he can do just what he said he's going to do. Oh, I know he can do it. I know he can do it. I know he can do it. And if he done it for me, he'll do it for you. Grab your neighbor by the hand. Somebody going through it, just tell him he'll do it for you. He'll do it for you. Bring you out. Ain't no need of worrying what tonight is going to bring. There you have it, a great word from Pastor D.R. Barry Hill Sr., the pastor of First Zion Missionary Baptist Church with two locations on Jackson Avenue and on Olive Street. Make sure that you check out their services first thing on Sunday morning. All right, there you have it. Don't go anywhere. We still got more. Pastor Shatik Nobles is coming up from My Redeemer Missionary Baptist Church. He's up next. Hey, this is Pastor Shatik Noble, Sr. of the My Redeemer Missionary Baptist Church, and you're watching The Hour of Power. Hey, this is Gerard Stevens of the New Orleans Talk Network. People have been asking, where are you? Well, we're right here, and we're definitely talking first thing in the morning. Make sure that you join in on the conversation and also comment at 504-341-8255. It's a new concept that you can take with you on your mobile device. Download our free app at Google Play for Android and the App Store for iPhones and iPads. Take us wherever you go and make sure you download that app to your mobile device. It's the New Orleans Talk Network, the wave of the future, and we're talking. Hi, I'm Linda Lewis, Director of Armstrong Family Services. I'm here to remind you that anyone can become homeless even you. Armstrong Family Services is a nonprofit organization that serves families in crisis. We focus on keeping homeless families together. Post Katrina, we have helped over a thousand families. Now we need your help. For more information, please call 504-899-2995. Thank you! You would think I'm standing in a third world country right now. Algiers, I'm actually standing in your community. The community that you grew up in, the community that you love, the community that your children go to school in. And in fact, we're standing right across the street from the Orleans Parish School Board. It's time the city obey the law that was handed down to them by the state court and the appeals court. Sign the petition now at cleanuphigginsgate.com. We are back with the Hour Power. Gerard Stevens, the CEO of GS1 Television Productions, specializing in making sure the word gets to you on Saturday nights. All right, what we got here, a young man, and I do mean young man. When I got the first chance to meet him, I didn't even realize that he was the pastor. He is a young man, but he's delivering dynamic messages for the old, for the young, and anybody in between. This is Pastor Shatik Nobles from My Redeemer, Missionary Baptist Church on the Hour of Power. 
Hey, this is Pastor Shatik Noble Sr. of the My Redeemer Missionary Baptist Church located at 2829 Washington Avenue in the great city of New Orleans. And I want to personally invite you and your family to come and to share with us in one of our powerful worship experiences every Sunday, 8 a.m. for our morning glory or 10 a.m. for our Holy Ghost fill up. And if you can, share with us Wednesday as we go into the Word of God, uh, studying the Word of God in our pastoral Bible study. We call it Grow School. We have classes for all ages. We have classes for the young people. And of course, the adults are being uh, taught by the pastor. We look forward to a great time in the Word of God. We know uh, that we are changed by the Word of God. So come and share with us each Sunday, 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. or 6.30 each Wednesday. Wednesday for our growth school. We love you. Look forward to seeing you. Come here, my Redeemer, because if we're going to be great lifters, we have to be sure and confident in the fact that the purpose in which we're lifting up Jesus is nothing else but to save souls and to get lives transformed. See, they wanted to make Jesus king for all the wrong reasons. They were under oppression by the wrong and they needed a political leader that would take them out of Roman oppression. They were going through different stuff and they wanted Jesus for all of these personal reasons. Jesus says, listen, they ain't why I came. I came to seek and to save that which was lost. I came to heal the sick. Those who are healed don't need a physician. But if you're sick, if you got a cough, then I'm the doctor you need. And I just need to remind us that when we live Jesus, it ought not be for any marketing tool. It ought not be for any uh, uh, bait and switch where we start off with Jesus, but then we make it about us. Jesus says, if I be lifted up, in other words, there is a continuous lifting every day of my life and my lifestyle. I got to make sure that I remind folk that every I live because he died. I live because of the blood. And what's the purpose of you lifting? Are you doing it so that you can be promoted? Are you doing it so that folk can recognize you? Or are you doing it because you know that if you lift Jesus up, then somebody's life is going to be better? Are you lifting Jesus up so that some Jesus can come into some and get to know them in a better way because not everybody lifts up Jesus for the right reason. You don't believe me? You remember the Bible says that when Jesus got to that hill, they laid him on the cross. When the Romans lift him up, they lifted him up to crucify him. They didn't lift him up so that he could be the Savior. They thought if they could lift him up, he would It's so that we can be reminded that he lives and there is no dying when you are in Christ. Matter of fact, I'm reminded of what the Bible tells us. Paul says, if any man be in Christ, we are now new creatures. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. What's your purpose, baby? Are you lifting him up so that folk can be held? So that folk can be delivered, so that families can stay together, so that addicts can be clean, so that drunkens can be delivered and sobered up because he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ever ask, think, or imagine. The scripture says, if I be lifted up, hear this. I will draw all men unto me. And we got to remember the purpose in the lifting. The purpose is to draw all men unto him. Now let me warn us before we just jump on, jump on this lifter's wagon. That when we begin lifting, it will attract all types of individuals. I'm not making it up. It's right there in the text. Listen to what the text says. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men 
that word in the Greek there deals with types of individuals, nationalities, and struggles. In other words, uh, it, it just won't be Jews that I'm going to draw. It just won't be a certain group of people. No, no, no. I'm going to draw any and everybody who will hear the gospel message or who will see the gospel being walked out and lived in your life. And can I share with you, my brothers and sisters, that if we are the lifters that we're called to be, then we'll start seeing any and everybody start to be drawn unto Christ. And we got to be reminded every now and then as the body of Christ that our role and responsibility is not just to go get folk that look like us, that talk like us, that sound like, no, Jesus' intentions is to draw all men. It don't matter who you are, where you what you've done, white, black, yellow, green, it don't matter, baby. He wants to draw you in because sin, when it meets Jesus, will be defeated. And what I love about the power that's in Jesus is that no sin is matched up against Jesus, not the blood of Jesus. He's able to clean up the liar, the fornicator, the adulterer, the thief, the The Bible says, whosoever will, let them come. Matter of fact, we're reminded that if we would call on the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. It don't matter what you've done. It don't matter where you've been. But if you could just call on Jesus, he's able to deliver you and set you free. That says, if we're great lifters, y'all, we're going to remember the person we lift. Not only will we remember the purpose or the person, rather, we lift, but we would remember the purpose of why we lift him. It is to draw, watch this, all men unto him. It is not that we get a certain group of folk that look like us. No, it's so that, watch this, we cast the biggest net we can. And whatever the drawing or warring power of the Holy Spirit uh, decides to put in the net, that's the ones we pull back in. And those are the ones we are assigned to clean up and help put back into spiritual commerce. But lastly, if we are great lifters, we will also see the power when we lift him. Please don't miss this because of what Jesus is reminding his disciples is, I must be lifted up. Because if I'm lifted up, brethren, you'll start seeing the real power that is able to change lives. Jesus says, I know you saw me heal the sick. And I know you saw me raise the dead. Uh, but when I'm lifted up, <laughs> When I make it to Calvary, you're going to see some real power. Because when I make it to Calvary, my blood is going to be shed. They're going to whoop me, and they're going to beat me. They're going to put a crown of thorns on my head. When I get to Calvary, they're going to spit on me. They're going to talk about me, and they're going to ridicule me. But I got to go through it. for your sins it's to pay for your transgressions he says and when I'm lifted up it's going to activate the warring power of the Holy Ghost and when they lift me up the Holy Ghost will go forth and begin to draw If you really won't see power, it won't be when we're singing songs. It won't be when we're clapping hands. It won't be when we're jumping up and down the wall. But we'll really see the power of the Holy Ghost when we lift up Jesus. When we share. Yeah.
Style. The Apostle Paul shares with the church that we are epistles that will be written of men, living epistles, which means we may be the only Bible folk ever get to read. The question in that message is, are you a lifter? That is Pastor Shatik Nobles from my Redeemer, Missionary Baptist Church, with two Sunday services. Make sure you catch them at 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings. All right, that's going to about wrap things up for us this week on the Hour Power. Hope you enjoyed the show. Don't go anywhere because next Saturday we'll be right back here. But call us. Let us know that you're watching. Let us know that you'd like to see this pastor in this congregation on the Hour Power. The number to call is 504 475 4471. That's 504-475-4471. Until next week, my friends, hope that you have a safe week. Enjoy yourself. And of course, we'll see you right back here on the Hour of Power.